the madman's knowledge just so our pal the doll can come back oops I passed it oh you know what the other thing that I was reading about was this icon for madman's knowledge you can see this wispy shape it's in the shape of a slug and when you when you use uh, Great One's Wisdom, let's take a look at that you can see that it's several slugs and if we read the uh, inscription for for Milkweed a carol rune envisioned by Adeline patient of the research hall a transcription of inhuman sticky whispers that reveals the nature of a celestial attendant those who take the, this oath become a lum lumen wood that peers towards the sky feeding phantasms in its luscious bed phantasms guide us and lead to further discoveries so that's what those are those little uh, those little slugs those little ghosty looking slug things are phantasms and if you again if we take a look at the uh, that the the image icon for for the madman's knowledge it's kind of splitting open a brain and the the phantasm is coming out and then this one furthermore the phantasm is, is really splitting apart the head right and we can assume then that this is sort of like the end result like sort of the end game <laughs> the end game for uh, for a skull that's got far too much insight right um, the head just basically the skull and the head basically just disappear and it becomes this thing that attracts the phantasms which are those ghostly slug shapes but uh, interestingly enough one of the attacks that we have here as a as a lumen would um, you you shoot out slugs let me see mm, that wasn't it which one is it oh you know what it's transformed it's a transformed attack so yeah you can see you saw some of them right there fall out of the head but if we transform back wait I'm confused yeah there it is see that all the slugs came out there they are <laughs> and those are the I think those slug like things are something that you see in the fishing village as well so it's 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 something that I hadn't realized until until like today or yesterday when I was reading all about about beasthood and and like insight the relationship between beasthood and insight you can almost imagine it as something like 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 two extremes right on the on one side is beasthood right and you can become uh, this guy <laughs> right Uh, for gameplay purposes you become this guy but uh, throughout the game you see monsters that have gone far too far they're far gone and have become full-on beasts right people that have become beasts and on the complete opposite side is something like this when you've just achieved far too much insight right and you see bosses like that as well uh, like Rom and other uh, other monsters and bosses that are believed to have been transformed through cosmic knowledge. That's just something that I I haven't really put together and and under fully understood that relationship until until very recently. It's just uh, it's really interesting stuff, and that's just it's really cool to think how how much thought was put into the world building of of Bloodborne. And it's just one game, and it might only ever be one game, which is uh, which is pretty interesting, but or rather pretty sad. But if they ever if they ever made a sequel, it would be really cool to see where they go with all of this stuff, you know, because there's just so much more that they could explore and elaborate on, and they could even go in like completely different directions, like completely unexpected directions, which I think would be really 
cool too. Like maybe, maybe this whole notion of um, of creating life from dolls, and maybe uh, you know that that could be evolved right into something else. Uh, there was that trailer for a game called The Lies of P. I believe it's like a Korean-made game, and it looks a lot like Bloodborne. I don't know if you saw that trailer bacon. It looks really cool by the way, like it looks like graphically it looks really good, the gameplay looks good from what we've seen so far, and it definitely does look inspired by Bloodborne, but it almost seemed to me like it went off, it's a game that went off in a completely different tangent where the environments were very much the same, but they kind of focused on this idea of like mechanical dolls and mechanical uh, humanoid things that have come to life and you have to fight them and by the way it's called the lies of P P is in Pinocchio you play as I'm assuming Pinocchio a really cool looking Pinocchio <laughs> and yeah you fight a bunch of other automatons uh, really neat but yeah let's take a break and we'll get back to it we'll get back to Upper Cathedral Ward 